you kind of got back on track offensively tonight, CJ? Uh, man, it's, you know, I'm just trying to get myself in some type of rhythm, get in, you know, conditioning and basketball, just feel, just in general, it's been a, a trying <laughs> couple weeks or so. And then with my jaw thing, like, I hadn't eaten really until, like, the day before the Dallas game. So, like, I didn't have any, any, any energy for that. So, you know, I'm just working, trying to make sure I get myself to a point where, you know, I'm ready especially coming down this stretch in the second half of the season to really be able to be who I'm supposed to be. And um, tonight was, you know, I found a little rhythm and it felt good to be able to just find space and find shots to be able to gain some more confidence. You sit and watch from the bench. What do you see out there? What, where do you think you guys can improve and collectively as an offensive unit turn things around? Um, I think it's about, you know, pace still, but like pace – not so much as doing stuff overly fast, just yeah. pacing how the actions, like yeah. doing them with a purpose, not just getting shots up quick or yeah. getting right to it. Like it's about finding actions and doing them with a purpose. Every cut's a scoring cut, screening for each other and finding it. And when we do that, you know, we 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 really throw defenses off because we guys getting gaps and you got Surge scoring, you got JB getting rolls to the basket, you got Kyle making threes, Debo doing what he does from everywhere. He's making threes now, he's getting to the yeah. basket, and those guys finding each other and finding the other guys. I think it's just about, you know, creating a rhythm with the whole group. And then at the end of the game, you let those guys do what they do. Right. Like right. Debo's a, one of the best closers in our league. Kyle make, makes big shots, Surge makes big shots when he gets a chance. Like, I think it's about just getting everybody you know, touches and it might not always be shots, but just involved in it where they understand where things are going to go. So throughout the game, they can see where they can get shots. They can see where they can screen and help a guy and things like that. We're not giving each other that chance because we're just getting into one action and going right at each other. So you don't really find a feel for the game. And it's hard. Pierce has been a rather up and down season with your, the birth of your daughter and your teeth. Like how long, how long, how frustrating is it? And Obviously not frustrating because it's nah, the birth it's of your daughter. You know what I mean? No, no, it's frustrating yeah. basketball-wise because, you know, I pride myself on, you know, my work ethic and being able to, you know, help my team. And then I had really found the groove before that, and I had, you know, figured it out. And I've been, you know, doing a uh, – it just seems like it's been an uphill battle since even before camp. I had some a family yeah, issue yeah. coming in, and then I had the jaw thing pop up in training camp then, and, and we thought, you know, we were going to be able to fix it, and then it – I had been dealing with that the whole time, yeah. swelling up and down. I was just playing through it, the pain and the stuff like that. And we finally got to a point where we had to do something about it. Um, and then the baby came, obviously. Um, I had the shoulder thing. I missed one game and came back. Like, it's just been a little bit of just, um, thank God, nothing serious. But just stuff that's kind of taken away from rhythm and conditioning and, and knocking you out. And, you know, as a shooter, rhythm and conditioning is big. You need your legs. You need to be able to find that pace and understand how you can do things. So, um, it's trying, but... At the same time, I've been in the league 13 years now. I know it's a long season, and these guys have been playing great, and it's just about me being ready when I need to be. Yeah, that was my next question. You're in right it for the long game. You're in right it mm-hmm. for April, May, and June as opposed to... Yeah, and month. that's what I've been reminding myself of, right. knowing that it's a long season, knowing that I'm in a situation where we're going to be you know, playing for something for real, and that kind of almost makes me look at it like a blessing in disguise it's given me some chance to you know get rest even though I didn't want to and kind of figure out things and you know so I'm taking it that way just looking at the you know the sunrise instead of the sunset (laughs) yeah (laughs) thank you